With our recently dried clothes sat in a crumpled heap, we've all glared at the iron in despair, which is why I'm here at Bristol Costume Services, home to over 100,000 different costumes, from TV and theatre productions ranging from Doctor Who to Poldark. Where better to find out whether you need to spend top dollar on an iron to get the smoothest results? Today, we'll be testing two steam irons at different price points. Our premium iron is the Tefal Ultimate Pure. It's Tefal's most powerful iron, so should cope with thick fabrics. And it comes with a 350 milliliter water tank to let you iron for longer without refilling. But its 160 pound price tag might just leave you a little hot under the collar. Our budget iron is the Morphe Richards Turbo Glide. It has an even bigger 400 milliliter water tank and is the lighter of the two, weighing 1.4 kilos. At just over a quarter of the price, it's also much lighter on your wallet. While I do iron when absolutely necessary, I don't consider it my forte. Thankfully, I'll be spending today with someone who does it a lot. Julie, hello. Hello, hi. Julie Herbert is a costume supervisor who's worked on over 300 theatre productions during her illustrious career. Ironing up to 30 outfits every night, Julie knows how to get clothes perfectly smooth. It needs to have a good weight for iron, it needs to have a good steam, it needs to have a good point at the front as well, because if you're steaming and ironing into little corners and trying to get hems and things, you need a good point on it and a good plate that stays clean. What are your first impressions of this, okay. the uh, the t yeah. the most expensive? It's a good weight. It mm. could do with being a little bit more of a point. Dial-wise, they are fairly similar, most irons. You've got a turbo steam, which is always great, because that gives you that extra boost of steam, so the steam is quite important. Let's uh, compare it with the uh, yeah. Morphe Richards okay. here, which is the cheaper of the two. Yeah. A little less weighty, a better point. Again, it has got turbo steam. It's got much the same that that has. It'll be interesting to see how this one performs. Right, well, let's get testing. Okay. Full steam ahead. Fair enough, this way. Our first test will be on an item that Julie regularly receives in a crumpled mess, a suit jacket. They're a bit creased, mm, so... Yes, gosh, they are. Yes. This is how things generally come back bit. from location. Yes. With things like this, you have to use a vertical steam. Why can't you iron them? With a lot of jackets, um, you'll take the shine off, so you just steam them and the creases will drop out. Both irons claim to be capable of vertical steaming, so we want to see how they compare. We kick off with the premium t -fowl. It's easy to see, transparent yeah, body, as so you'd expect. you can see what you're filling up. But it's soon clear that our more expensive iron is a little lacking in the steam department. Now, there doesn't seem much steam coming out. There's plenty of steam oh, coming yeah, out when you operate it yeah. conventionally. Oh, oh, oh there's yeah, a bit. now we have some. It seems to be happier at a slight angle. And you need to uh, keep going back to a sort of conventional yeah, just ironing to... mode for a bit to get it to build up steam. Yes. So what do you think of the T-Fowl at the vertical ironing task? A little bit intermittent. You don't get a continuous steam, which means it would take quite a while. Yes, let's move on to the Morphe Richards. OK. Again, easy to fill. Ready to go. Having watched Julie at work, I have my first ever crack at vertical steaming. Am I overdoing it or is that about no, right? No, no, you'd want to be doing that much. And initial impressions of our budget model are good. I mean, with the Morphe Richards, it keeps steaming for longer than the t does, You don't have yes. to pause. No, much better turbo yeah, it charge is. steaming. And you can hold it vertical, which could yeah. mean you get the job done quicker. Well, let's move on to some more uh, conventional sort of horizontal okay. ironing, or yeah. ironing, as I would call it. Yes. Lead the way. Fair enough. Julie has some outfits from previous hires that need ironing before they can go back out on another production. So, it's a good test to see how both models fare at everyday ironing. Our two outfits are made up of three garments to test how the irons cope with different materials. Let's see what the premium t fowl can do on a polyester jacket. The weight's good and it is ironing nicely. I'm up next, ironing a cotton shirt. You can tell me what I've been doing wrong all these years. And that's where you're testing the point. Pointy bit. By my standards, I'm quite happy. I've been getting quite a lot of steam, actually. It's certainly doing the job. Now for something that you definitely don't want all crinkly, a pair of linen trousers. There's plenty of steam and you've certainly got a boost. 
and there we have it. One complete outfit. Oh, do you think the, the teapot's yeah. done a reasonable job? No, I job? think it has, yeah. I like the weight of it, and it's yeah. got a good boost of steam. On to our budget iron, the Morphe Richards. Let's get started on the polyester jacket. It's ironing fine. I do prefer a bit more weight, but it's nice to iron with. Ooh. And on to the cotton shirt. I did wonder whether you've got a bit more steam with mm. the t is a little bit more powerful and just feels it very slightly. On the other hand, with this one, you get the lightweight, the manoeuvrability, so and the that. pointiness. And the pointiness. Ooh. wonder if the pointy bit's going to help with the sleeves. Ooh, look. Ooh. I've never been so excited to do some ironing. Finally, another pair of linen trousers. Again, irons nicely. I'm not seeing any material difference in the quality no, of the ironing no. between the, the Morphe Richards and the Not particularly, no. Here. They both do a good job, mm, just different. A slightly than, different yeah. ironing experience. Mm. With both tests complete, it's decision time. So the question is, do you have to pay top dollar to get um, satisfactory ironing performance? Well, I don't think you do. I think... They both produce the same sort of results. Mm. The Morphe Richards, a little bit lightweight, and the pointed end was much better for round buttons. Um, the T-Fal, a little bit more steam on the boost. Yeah, Basically, think... both, both a good job. Yes. So if I was buying one of these, I'd have to say, in terms of value for money and what it can do, I'd go with the Morphe Richards. Yeah. Good, we're agreed.